Evening. Just uh, sorting my sound out a minute. Looks like we're good. We're not dropping any frames or anything. Hopefully we won't uh, cut off like last night. Hopefully. Okay. Turn my pad back on. Right then, first missed the stream. Finally, I think this probably... I wasn't sure if this was going to replace my PlayStation Classic for streaming. Just because of ease of use. But the more I'm playing this, the more I'm thinking, uh, yeah. It is going to replace it. So, I've got all the cores on you. All the arcade cores, all the computer cores, all the console stuff. I'm going to start with something that uh, I wouldn't normally start with. But I'm going to do it anyway. Let's start with an Amiga game. That'll keep some people happy. <laughs> Maybe not keep me happy that much, but it might keep some people happy. And uh, the Amiga emulator on the um, PlayStation Classic is definitely nowhere near correct. Don't know how many games are actually on you. Hang on a minute, lost my sync a second. Yeah, we're back. Um, right, what I was going to play was Agony. This uh, games list I've got here is actually missing stuff, so... But people have been bugging me for ages to play Amiga games, so um, I definitely have the ability to do it now. Maybe not everything. Ah, right. I've got this Mister in um, a no lag mode. Right. What I'm gonna do, guys? I'm going to turn the scan lines off because I, I like scan lines and um, I should turn them off. Uh, so audio, video. Because they don't, uh, they don't work over uh, YouTube particularly too well. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? I can't believe I'm starting off a stream playing the Amiga. <laughs> People will be aware, I'm not the greatest fan of the Amiga. I, I will admit, I'm not going to lie about it. <laughs> there are some games I do like on your mind, but I'm not a big fan, but we'll probably end up streaming Amiga games at some point and maybe I'll change my mind. Ooh, the scream is a little bit off then. Interesting. Right, hang on a second. Is the screen in the wrong position? Um... Right, how do I actually... I say, this is all a little bit new to me at the moment, so, um... I'm going to turn that down a minute, it's a bit, uh... Right, how do I screen adjust it? Uh, I'm not sure if the screen is slightly off, so... Which one after that? Blank? No, blank two. You can stretch it out then. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out how you're actually going to do this. Let me just turn my TV down to get the sound levels correct. I say this is going to be a journey of discovery because I'm not quite sure what I'm doing either. So, um, I wonder if we've got to use a key. Ah, you've got to use a keyboard. Right, I got you. I've got a, um, a little mini USB keyboard connected up to you. Is that actually just stretching the screen and not actually moving it? Ah, oh, right, that's actually sh uh, stretching the screen. That, that is actually correct. Okay, cool. I've never really properly played this game, to be honest. I got to the second level earlier on, and that's pretty much as far as I've ever played this game. 
everyone says this game is good, so we'll give it a go. So I'm just learning the mister. I, I've only had it for a few days, so um, just learning all about the settings and stuff. It's pretty simple to be honest. Like, but there's a few things when it comes to the computers which is a, a little bit more tricky. I think I figured the majority of it out to be honest. It's quite a nice look at this game. I'll give it that. This runs a hell of a lot better on you than they did on the PlayStation Classic. That emulator on there is not right at all. It's going to be uh, a few sort of uh, a few people that jump in my stream quite often are going to be so happy that I'm doing this. <laughs> Apparently, from what I've read, the Mister Project was originally called the Mist Project. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And um, that was originally set up to basically FPGA and Amiga. So this quite fitting, I suppose. I start the stream with the Amiga. From what I've read, anyway, and then it, then the hardware changed, and they called it the Mister Project. What do the swords do then? Six buttons I set up in here, so... For the look of it, you have got extra weapons, so I don't know exactly what all that's about. So this game does uh, definitely play better than using a... Uh, an old style joystick on it. That would not be my bag at all. <laughs> Arcade stick, maybe. Oh, I've got epilepsy. Look away. I hate flashing screens as well, I gotta be honest. There was another shoot em up um, I kept being asked to play, but it wouldn't run properly on the, play on the PlayStation. I can't remember what it's called now. Begin with A, I think. It's the stream, alright, guys? It looks, looks pretty okay. Last night the stream cut off and I didn't realise for a while, so I don't know exactly. I think my internet dropped out. What does the sword actually do? Ooh, I got killed. In a bit of a weird flick now, only. I don't know what that's about. Say the Mister is an FPGA console, so it, it's essentially hardware emulated, not software emulated. So, um, pretty much got no lag. Well, as long as you put it in the low, no lag mode. I've got it in the no lag mode, but apparently it's not as compatible with TVs and capture cards and things like that in that mode, but it seems to be working alright, apart from the flicking background on this. I wonder if I do that. Like I get rid of it? We'll carry on though. Ooh, now we're getting some freakiness going on. Maybe it's just this level, it was fine on the last one. Is that a flying, what's that, a flying ant? I wonder if I've adjusted the screen wrong and that's why it's flicking. Hang on, let me do, um, uh, let me do adjust the screen. Um, hang on. Video mode. Didn't I go into it? Right, okay, so you can stretch it. Let's just stretch it. No, 
it's probably too much, isn't it? Yeah, we flicked off it. Yeah, I'm just wondering whether it's the I've overstretched it, that's why it's looking a bit weird. Okay, we'll go with that. Maybe not. When I do, when I reset it, it should be set back to its default anyway, because I'm saved. Yeah, I just say, I'm just sort of getting used to the settings. Each of the cores have got different um, setups. The computer cores are the most awkward, I suppose, because of um, the way the computers are. The console cores and arcade cores are pretty, pretty easy. Is that actually, that sword actually hit things? Yeah, it does. Right, okay. Your swords do actually kill things. A little bit annoying that background, don't I? I have to say. Ooh, what does that do? Ah, that's one of them. Okay. Okay, if that kicks ass, I wonder if that I wonder if that just carries on, it doesn't run out. No, it runs out, right, okay, so they they are specials then. See, I've not really played this game before, so Oh no. I was looking at him then, not the actual what I was doing. It was silly. Look at that flicking background. Oh, well. When I die, I'll um, we'll get he jumps up. I'll uh, restart the core and see if that changes. Sometimes I've had that before, one or two of the other cores. I've started them up, but I had a weird like flicky screen, and just reboot it. It's fine. He died then. Now, when you get down so far, you stop firing. How many lives have I got? Are those dots my lives? I don't know. Right, when I picked up a thing, you only get one of them then. Uh oh. Don't teach me not to look behind me. Yeah, those dots are my lives. need to kill those things. Right, I'll tell you what. Let's see. Oh, it's off the uh, Darius 2 arcade machine. The Tuna Sashimi is pretty much my um, internet gaming name. And I, I got it from that when she talks and she says I always wanted a thing called Tuna Sashimi. Right, I'm going to reset this call a second. Yeah, that's where the music comes from. Welcome to the room anyway. Let me just get this uh, back up and run it. Right, so computer, Amiga. We'll have another go at that game now. So, yeah, luckily, these, I think it's got some hard drive image that it boots directly into because I have no idea how to use an Amiga. No idea at all. That's weird, the stream is actually getting the workbench screen. I'm not. <laughs> That's a bit weird. I'm not seeing the workbench screen. Right, okay, so, Agony. It is missing a few games, this is, because it hasn't got blood money on it. 
Is this a shame? Because I used to quite like her. No, it has got blood me. Okay, I don't know what I'm talking about. You take that back in. I quite often don't know what I'm talking about. Right, here we go, mate. Eh? Hey, Bill, how's it going? Yeah, bit of Amiga. I've got the FPGA going. Um, I think it might actually be replacing the PlayStation Classic. And uh, the Amiga works fine on you. So, it's no excuse for not playing Amiga games now, I suppose. I also found out earlier, I, I figured out how to use the MSX core on you. And as soon as I started playing the MSX core, um, yeah, we'll have a go at that next as well. You keep asking me about that one. Yeah, as soon as I figured out the MSX core and got it running, I've realised that the emulator on the Classic is, is not right. Moonstone, right, okay. I, what is this? It's an image I've got on you. Which has got a load of games, like a hard drive image. So, I'm not sure exactly what is on you. Right, I'm not going to mess with that screen because... Ah, right, the screen all the changed. Yeah, the screen does flick a bit in this, which is a bit weird. Oh well, we'll just go with it. There's probably something I need to do to get rid of it or something. I don't know whether you're seeing the flick. The background's doing it like a weird... Maybe the game code is a bit knackered, isn't it? Yeah, it's shit. That MSX Emmy, it's good on the cla on the classic. I played it quite a bit, but as soon as I played a couple of games on you, I've noticed this. It is it is definitely dropping frames. So it's it's not right. It's still good though. That's for what it is. I've had fun with it for uh, a fair amount of time, but um, yeah, it's definitely better on you. Thing swap into this, I'm only going to miss out on a couple of things. PlayStation being one of them. And um, Atari Lynx, that may be about it. But then I'm gaining a lot more. Some stuff that might be interesting. You seen it? Yeah, there may be. You may be right, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how, how the bias is set up on you. So it was like a pre-configured image. So I'm not sure if it's using an official kick ROM or, or not. You might be right. It might be worth looking into that. In fact, when I get five, I'll look into it. How to set it up and see how the bias works. It's a bit of a journey of discovery at the moment because I'm, uh, I'm just sort of learning how to use this thing. The Amiga is definitely running a hell of a lot better on you than it was on the PS Classic. Everyone waves on about this game, like it does seem pretty decent. It's weird, really, though, the way it pops up and down. I have got it a few times now, so it's popping up into a bullet. Is it? We're good. I think it changes um, resolutions when it uh, the game kicks in. I think that's why we get a little bit of sort of like screen cutting off. Oh, I doubt me, Abby. I got I died there last time, so. Those things on the floor explode, didn't it? Yeah, I'm not quite sure how you configure the the kick roms and stuff in this. See. I'm not sure exactly where you put them or 
how they've got to be set up, how they've got to be named. The um, Sega CD is the same. I've got to try and work that out as well. Because it hasn't got the Japanese um, BIOS on there. But the BIOS is named different to every other BIOS I found. It's called, it's a dot ROM, not a dot, um, what was it, is it dot BIOS? I can't remember. It's a slightly different format anyway, and I've tried renaming it to that format and it doesn't work, so. But Mega CD is working on you. I will have to say, from what I've played of this, um, Mister, it's it's very good. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Hang on, I'll do that now. Got to take the scan lines off again. Cause I reset the code, didn't I? God, they don't work particularly great on YouTube, so. Uh, I wonder if that's anything to do with it, because I'm forcing NTSC. Most of the Amiga stuff was essentially PAL, wasn't it? Interesting, I wonder. Nope, that's definitely not anything to do with it. I think pretty much the Amiga was most popular in Europe, wasn't it? UK and Europe, basically. So I think pretty much most of the games are our PAL format. Right, I've got to watch that thing on the floor. Might change our back then. See, there's a lot of options here, see, and I'm not sure exactly what half this stuff is. Maybe this, there's something in here you can tweak. The empty pie. I'm not sure, see. There's probably some stuff in there you can tweak. I think this, this thing, hardware emulates um, the Amiga 600 and 1200, and maybe one of the other ones as well, I think. Um, not really up on the uh, going on there. Yeah. What was something new in the chat? Just fire a lot, you. When you kill it, you're alright. Go the classic Terrigan 2 on you earlier. I need for about five minutes, but. Resolution change in. I don't know how many levels there is in this game. Alright, oh, that's a special weapon. Oh, I should have used it then, shouldn't I? Do I still get to keep it? Yep. Yeah.
Right, I'm going for it. Great, he's gonna fire at me again, isn't he? Right, what's that game you want me to play? That one you've been asking me to play for ages. We do a restart and it'll boot back into it then. Okay, that's the one with the wasp in it. Right, hopefully it's on you. TV haven't kicked back in yet. Right, okay. EP. Ooh, right, okay. Which one? That's the question. Um, what are all the differences? Audios. Let's go with the Audios version. So that's just the hacking group or something that they uh, hacked it. That part two. Okay, just normal set of options. Right, so let's see how much better this is supposed to be. It's a bit rough on the classic. Very loads in. I like a music on. Oh, is this literally just the music? <laughs> it is just the music. Okay. So, so audio last or whatever is just the music. SEM, I'm guessing, then that's just the sound effects. Right, okay, let's, let's go back to it. So it's going to have to be that one then. There's no other version on yet. So I hope that one works then. Oh, actually, that's the name of the company who made it, but the look of it. Nope, still haven't got a game. Why haven't we got a game? Uh -huh. Weird. <sighs> Doesn't look like we're ever going to get to play this game, probably. Okay. Is there anything in here I can actually find me hardest boot? Okay. I'm not gonna mess with that. Which one was the original Amiga? I guess that was, was it? Maybe it's the CPU thing. Five hundred one thousand. Try that. Don't know why it does mine. Do you remember me? Uh, blank. That's the bit we were in before. Don't know what that, any any idea what that is. M two thirty two pi. Is that a? Okay. I don't really know what I'm doing, so let's reset that.
This don't work, we'll try something else. Yep, I think I may have broke it. One red flashing light on the uh, on the mister. Well, hang on, something's happening on the screen, is it? Okay, that didn't work. Okay, let's turn that back to that then. Okay. I'm going to have to look up all this stuff and see what it actually does. See if anything happens now. Oh, they totally broke it. It's looking like I've totally broke it. Nice. Okay, I haven't seen anything, so a restart should, should do the job. Right, okay, we're back. We're back, baby. Right, computer, give it one more try. Put that Amiga core back up. Well, it definitely didn't save anything, so I don't know why it's... Uh... Alright, here we go. Hope you bug it in. Um... Uh, where's it gone? Uh, where's it gone? Uh -huh. This is where I couldn't see blood money on it earlier. Where's, where's it gone? Oh, I see. Just try SE then, shall we? See what that does. I can't just be the summons rip the sound effects. A bit of a crap game, innit? Got music. Uh, Hunterbirds getting mushrooms. Getting mushrooms, okay. Are we actually going to see a game this time? Nope, not like this game at all. That's a shame. Like I said, I'm going to have to have a look for the settings, really, and see how it works with the computers. There may be some setting that's on that shouldn't be on. I don't know. It's all a bit confusing. Let's try, uh, let's try Blood Money. Uh, I remember quite liking that game when my mate used to have it. I do remember like this game. First, there was menace. Where's hold the money guy? Now, remember that bit? Psychosis presents design game. Yummy. The biggest unanswered question is where. Right, how do we start this saga? Ooh, that's a lot of comments. Hang on. It's just all the comments have just literally just jumped in in one go. Yeah, we could switch to another core. Uh, sounds too, sounds too fast. Yeah, it might be the 50 hertz. Maybe that's where it is. Um, you can get down. Yeah, there's an up, there's an upgrade uh, script. You just I haven't tried doing that yet because it was up to date when I had it. Is a update script. You just run that, and apparently it just does it all for you. Right. So we're talking F1. Is 
odds are F1. They want to. Uh, uh, what else are we doing in here? Start stage one, is it? Ah, oh, right, okay. All right, we'll, we'll go back and have another look at that menu a second then. Um, so we'll go, I oh know, so we'll go to the sub level. All right, I started a two player game. Yeah, this this game was in real slow motion, wasn't it? On the, um, I lost a coin. Oh, there, Nasty. All right, okay. Ooh, bugger! You can blow up in them. Right, can I get better weapons? Right, I'm going to forget anything. Yeah, this is a bit crappy. No. Okay, we're not going to play that. That is a bit tricky these days. Okay, we'll have one more time. We'll have a look at the level now. Maybe I didn't select something like I said. It's a bit weird, the comments just all come in in one go. There's about 20 comments just jumped up in one go then. Uh. So if this don't work, we'll try something else. Right, okay, let's try it again. Except I, I do need to sort of work all this out, I think. Right, so, yeah, where is it? So let's go for that version. Actually, I'll change it to um, 50 hertz as well. Keep you set. Uh, it resyncs on the telly, it does when it goes into this. Right, okay, so it's not that one. Um, where was the. Uh, I think where it was now. Audio and video? That's it. So I put it back to PAL. I'll take them off. That's definitely not right, is it? One more try. Now we're on PAL. Ooh, that's definitely not right. What the hell's going on there? Right, let's just try something else. I'll have to have a play around with that, I think. Right, okay, okay, so let's try, um, what do, what do you fancy, I'm going to go off, we've got all these consoles, I think games are in quite a lot of them, I haven't tried everything yet. The Neo Geo seems pretty perfect, except there's um, high tones, one or two of the high tones, are a little bit off, apart from that, it's pretty damn good. Right, okay, so let's let's do my uh let's do my normal Sunday thing. Yeah, the MSX has got this um like this this image. I think it's the same sort of image they put on those little flashcards. You have got to use uh, a keyboard on this as well. Right then, so all the games are in uh Got to be unpacked, so let's have a go ROMs. Let's have a go with that. Well, that's alternatives. Pleasure Hearts is actually on you as well. Right, so let's try... Um, let's have a look. No problem, I've got to remember which is which. Uh, 
spaceman boat. You can do the settings on this as well. So you can set all the um, parameters. And I've, I should have the uh, SCC is on. Yes, cool. That's what I was trying to work out earlier, how to actually turn that um, extra sound chip on. Uh, you press select then once the uh, game is loaded. So because it is an MSX, you've got to put up with the loading now. Yeah, okay. Why didn't that work? Definitely worked earlier. I say when it comes to the computers, not quite as uh, seamless as it is on the um, PlayStation Classic, just because it's basically you just playing the ROM. But once I get my head around how it works, right? Start game. Or did I press the wrong button? That's the question. I may have pressed the wrong button. Uh, space to launch ROM. Why are you proving me wrong then? This actually worked earlier. Ah, oh, I was playing it as well. Eh? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that's about. I was playing that earlier. I was definitely playing that earlier. Um, okay, let's try again. Is it in there? Uh, right, try the alternative one. So settings. Auto slot on, yeah, that's cool. Right, this definitely worked because I was playing it. This is better. This is what happened last time. It unpacks the actual um, the ROM image. I don't think you can just put the ROMs on your as is. They've got to be set up like this. I suppose it's the same as using um, like um, the uh, disk emulators, the hardware disk emulators. It's the same principle, I suppose. Waiting for loading. Seems, seems so wrong. Okay. Boot address, slot, ROM loading. Yeah, this is all looking good. I don't think this was the one I loaded last time, mind. Press space to launch ROM. Oh, yeah, here we go. I like a bit of space bamboo. Plays better as well. I think the emulator is dropping frames, but it's alright though, it does the job. Ding, 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 ding. Quite so jerky as it was before. Seems it seems smoother, if you know me. Only problem now is I don't think I can pause. Yeah. I went through then.
Ooh, the missile got me. Nah, I saw an MSX3. He did an M MSX2, didn't he? And um, a Turbo R. Turbo R apparently is the one that everyone wants to try and get hold of. By his MSXs, but apparently they, they go for about a grand. I should have just gone forward, shouldn't I? Yeah, because they, they, they did quite a few revisions of the MSX over the years. Right, can I recover from that bag or this question? It definitely does play a bit tighter. Oh, the bullet play had me. I had to go through the middle of those missiles then. Right, that was a bad start. Don't want to continue. Right, okay, let's uh, let's go from the start then. It definitely wasn't a good go. Definitely, when it comes to running the um, computer games, the um, the uh, uh, PlayStation Classic, because it's just emulated, is a bit quicker and easier. You just run a ROM and you're off, off your goal. Like. Speed. That's better. Forgot nearly had the end. Sneaky bullet. I might get that firing. Well, Andy, that's my bomb. I nearly bought an MSX once. It was an MSX2, it was, off a forum. It was a pretty good deal as well. It was like 200 odd quid. 200 odd quid, and they came with um, the flash cart with the SCC sound chip add on and everything. Which is quite nice. Set, get up here. Ooh. It's a bit brisky going down there and there. Uh, doing that. We got it. We 
we don't got it. Okay, so they come back and it. I know that now. Ah oh, man, what's going on? I was running properly, I suck. <laughs> That's quite funny. I need that spread weapon, really. There it is. Oh, I should have turned the um, scan lines off, should I? Oh well. Not much I can do about that at the moment. Yeah, we'll get that speed up. Okay, he died again then. Are we powering up? Don't try and kill me. Yep. Doo -doo. I had a feeling they might actually go for me in. Like this boss is quite tricky actually. Quite a lot of things you go you, you gotta look out for. Gotta go forward. You gotta watch out for those uh, electric beams as well. I have to. So it doesn't fire very often, but at full power it's, it's pretty good. All oh, right. Okay. I wonder if it works on you as well. But basically, I stay about by here, I think. Yeah, it's about by there. Oh, I 
Ah, I did, couldn't fire fast enough then. Did work though. That's the only problem with the um, the freeway firing. Oh god, again trapped. Far off back again. Maybe I was a little bit too far forward. Yeah, I rammed it in. It was my own fault. Right, I'm just going to keep this forward firing, I think. Do that. Take it all back. I'm going to get the other five in. And I'm going to ram the ceiling. I like ramming the ceiling. It's nice. This level could be quite tricky for day. I might want that power up. Speed up, I think. Hard to kill them things, I tell you. Okay. That was supposed to go. Well, this is definitely not, not supposed to be there. I don't know how I survived that. Space Mambo. Welcome to the room, mate. It's a pretty nice shoot map, this is. Middle one, maybe. Oh, 
We got it. Should be Space Mambo! No, I'm not gonna go for the speed up. This is a level gets me half a time. plan for this now. Oh bugger, he died then. Ah, oh, he still had me. Oh, I thought I was out the way of it. I thought I thought I had plenty of time to get out of his way then, but obviously not. No. The W is Andy, but I'm not gonna get it. It's a bit weird playing MSX on a pad. I normally use a joystick. Right, okay. You can jump down, no problems. I can get these. Okay, we good. So good. I'm gonna get back out of the way this time just to make sure. And I crash into the wall anyway. What was I thinking? Oh yeah, I won't get that, I won't get the speed up, I don't need it. What <laughs> you get? Let's go the W. <sighs> I'm gonna have to stay here because I ain't gonna I ain't gonna backfire it, which is not good. done with that. Oh, then. Oh, great. Right, let's try not to ram the wall this time. I've got too much speed. All oh, right, so these have got past happy. Guys, stop being such a pain in the ass. I need either. This bit's not going to be funny. <sighs> Thought I maybe had to get out of the way of that then, but obviously not. 
That was going to be hard. Let's get the W. do we get enough speed up really but Ooh, panic then do they jump down from the top because if they do I'm in trouble no boss time can't remember which boss this one is now <sighs> right okay I don't like a spot. That happens and it scares me. Enough to get out of the way. Down him, scary, don't I? I'm going to be in trouble, I think. It's where the ever firing comes in really handy. That was close. Okay. I can get out yet. Oh, the missiles are in here, that's quite handy. Okay. I thought I was done for for a second then. What oh, I could do with that? Okay, wasn't expecting that. A gradius. Five. You can continue. Couldn't do that on the classic. Got to kill that thing, but I'm pretty hit by them. Great, didn't get the power up. Okay, we're safe today. We'll have to get forward. I haven't got much firepower. And I missed the speed. Great. Exactly what I want that is. I think I'm safe today. I missed the power up. No. Let's try again. Uh, F five. Did I press it right? No, I didn't. Damn it. Right. Okay. So I'll take that off for now. I wonder if you can speed that game up to uh, F seven. Let's try it in our speed, shall we? Ooh, that looks faster already. Is it too fast though? Actually, no. That's cool. Yeah, 
Dun, dun, dun. That's cool. Right. Tell me what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a restart a second. Dave Jones made that, eh? I, I don't even know who Dave Jones is. Remake Grand Theft Auto, D. That's bad. Who's Dave Jones? Um, is that a? I think it is a ROM cartridge, actually. This is the thing now. We're gonna have to know if the ROM cartridge is or not. Um, let's see what this runs like on you if it's on you. Um, no, it's not on there. Um, Symphsaurus. Okay. Okay, so it's not there. Right, so let's go back. No, oh, it's beginning with A in it. But he looked at the wrong bloody one. Ash Green 2. Let's check this out on you. What settings we got? Right, so auto is for. I don't even know if I use this SCC sound chip, actually, to be honest. I'm just taking a guess. Still with my one credit in this. The last two levels are pretty, pretty hard. Also, Davis, I he made um, that uh, a PAX game or whatever it's called. I'll also go back to that, actually, before we uh, finish, just to see if there was an option I didn't pick a level or something. And I'm just playing the music. So press space to launch ROM. So I'm assuming we have to do this on a real MSX. I doubt if this is going to be the one with the updated music, mind, but. And then I'm going to be auto fire. I need quite a few keys for the first level. Let's see if I can remember where to go. Stabby, stabby. Same as on the um, PS Mini, to be honest. How many keys I got? Damn. Don't get along to pick those power ups up. To get through this first level, though. Don't fire at me. Let's see if the power up turns up. the right door. Nope, it's not. Now I'm trapped. Oh, Is this the right door? Yep. Do, 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 do. I can 
not remember where to go. I patch with our uh, new music is really good. I promise you, we need the bloody keys. Angie's rubbish. I'm stuck now, aren't I? Turn around. Right, okay, so let's go back to where I was. No, oh, that's definitely not the way to go. Instead of playing this, because I could be on you for ages, because it's quite a fairly long game, to be honest. Let's try a different court. Let's go back. And, um, wrong button. <clears throat> Let's do the console cores. Get a new Jew call going. Right then, here we go in. I thought I deleted them off here. Eh? Hmm. Maybe I deleted the wrong ones. Don't think I did. Next time I show down. Oh, hang on, go past it. No, I definitely deleted the. Oh, I deleted the wrong ones. No, oh, that was stupid. Hmm. Okay, that was that was daft. So let's have a go of. Fatal Fury. The original Fatal Fury. The Unibios is built into this as well. Switch his hands, you can roll down three buttons and press start and go to the Unibios. It's, 
This is the free version of it. I know it's, you know, it's, it's, it's quite old, so it's good as Street Fighter or nothing, but it's quite a fun play to, you know, to play in single player. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always get a two when you jump across there. I don't know why I, every time I try to even bother. I remember when I first bought this on the Neo Geo when it first came out. I was amazed by um, the music and the speech. There was just... I hadn't heard anything like it before. Oh, yes. The music from here is from uh, Street Smart. Never old SK game. Before the actual Neo Geo. It's a basically a remix version of that music. Round two. Ah, you got me with a tornado. You were supposed to be Ty um, Tyson Money. He's a solid to win, even with auto fire, especially the last one in the game, the third one. Even with auto fire, no, it's not easy to beat. Remember the days of bonus rounds? Don't get them anymore, do you? And beat maps. Remember to take these scan lines off, actually. Hope it looks right, anyway. If it looks right, I'll leave them on. Oh, missed him. like a fit two games. Even though I think the jumping in between the levels is still a little bit gimmicky to be honest, but um oh, I messed that up didn't I? Kick my ass. Round two. 
You can get every character with that move if you uh, time it right. A little bit harder to do on a pad on a stick, you can do it really fast. Great. Whew, I was wondering if I was going to die to it, man. Yep, I am. <laughs> That's why I was going to write in and play with the misses. And I thought, should I put that or put it in MRS? <laughs> I should probably miss this, shouldn't I? I should have written it that way. Bonus. How's it going, mate? Right? I haven't spoken to you for ages. I'm not going to do that. I'm using that satin pad at the moment, don't you? It was phenomenal then. I'm in trouble. I was actually playing some Amiga earlier. Running into a few config issues because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you blocked it. There's nobody. Get my gun set. How long did they say for yours to turn up? Is it about you said about a week, wasn't it? Or a week to um post it. I'm not going to take any chances on him. So he can kick your ass pretty quick. the stream don't uh, jump off tonight. I don't know what was going on last night. How would the scan lines look anyway? Do they, do they look okay on the stream or shall I turn them off? Bonus area. Ready? Go! And this one even with auto fire is ridiculously hard to beat. Tell you one thing, messages are lagging tonight. Oh, okay. Ah oh, man, get my ass. Yeah, unfortunately, I think you are. Well, it'll be interesting to see how much it's going to cost on that, that amount. He 
He's being tricky. I'm just gonna punch him. Well, it looks like it's got a nice case. You've got the acrylic case, that's what it is. I've seen that case on other sites. It's an acrylic one, it is. Should be quite sweet. Just gotta convince Steve to buy one now. I'm just gonna be careful, I think. Yeah, the uh, chat is uh, lagging behind tonight. Alright, cool, as long as it looks alright. No, hopefully not. This crap should sort itself out in a few months, I think. Once everyone gets used to how, how this new arrangement works. Yeah, I did, I did notice subtle differences in the top end. Everything sounds perfect except the really high pitched notes. One or two of them are just a tad off, I think, on this on this uh, core. Only a little bit. Half my eye sounds perfect. Surprised he got over the top of me then. Oh, great. Unfortunately, this is what he can do to you sometimes. wasn't playing game then, was he? I can't fly out that window. That's it. I'm actually coming back. That's it. So it's supposed to go. I think you're gonna like it when you get it. Bad move I was. Like in all the new games, every time certain characters see him, like the Terry sees him, it's like, yes. I don't know how he survived this fall though. Come back from the dead. I found that little shimmer, I don't know whether you can see it on stream. It's a tiny little bit of um like a shimmer, that's because of the um it's not quite a perfect scale. You can I could either knock this down to 720p, which would probably sort that out. Or apparently you could put it on 1440p if your tally supports it. I haven't actually tried that yet though, so. I think you've got to do it in the ini file, I'm not entirely sure. I think that's where you've got to, you've got to set the resolution. Right, anyway, so. Oh, 
Oh, save off. Dun, dun, dun. You've got that bigger scan lane, switch it. Right, anyway. So, let's have a go with something else. I think King of Fights 93 on here uh, earlier. Um, okay, let's have a go with that. Who loves this game? Only one then, unusual. Oh no, it was a Street Fighter beat it. It's quite a fun game though. I quite like playing it in single player. It was nowhere near as good as Street Fighter. Right, which one's coming down first? Oh great, now I'm in trouble. Oh, I went downhill, didn't he? Can't kill him by jumping over him. Swapping over sides on him as well. You human being, face your trial by God. Speechless is so cheesy, this class. Well, this is going to make this a little bit harder to kill. Got it. Yeah, it just didn't. It didn't have enough con your know, content to it, basically. He he bought one of me, Mark. It is another power up on this stage as well. I'm not going to go for it. I 
doesn't matter getting it on the boss either. This character, he's, n he's no good for this boss. So if I get hit on the... Um... Perfect. I'm destined but to die. Jumped a little bit higher than I wanted to it. <laughs> yeah, he's buying one off uh, guy on the forum. <laughs> Wonder what case he'll have. So this level's a stumbling block for most people. <laughs> I said you basically got to do it. Right, oh great. Samurai guy. Not particularly the best at this bit. Okay, that didn't do me much good. Yeah, Neo Geo sounds really nice in it. It's really beefy sounding. As it should be. Jumping for this is probably a bad idea, actually, but. Right, here we go. Fire. in my presence. Nice to tickle him at the end of it. Boss is easy with that uh, character. This is where the music I was saying does is slightly off on the high tones. I love this music as well. Not quite right. The bell tone sounds a little off slightly. I know the phone really wasn't um, doing it justice to be honest. It just doesn't sound quite right. <laughs> oh dear. Do I go for the extra power up? That's the question. May as well. Fire at me. One skulls, do you think? Was naughty. Ah, 
Um, Don't have to go this way. You can just skip to the end of the level. I just quite like going this way. Usually get a skill of it. Sometimes another one. Right, this bit is random as hell. I went to bad. I'm gonna skip this. We're gonna get a skull on the ladder. Oh. Right then, so big jump. I I missed it. Oh no, that's bad news that is. Shit. I wanted the power up. Oh well. Take two shots each. Yeah, I think it's slightly off, unless it's me. It sounds a tad, tad off to me. Just the top end, though. Just sounds just not quite right, if you know what I mean. It might be me, though. Oh, for my, it sounds perfect. You can still have problems, even though it's it's the core, isn't it? If the core is slightly off, you can still run into little tiny issues. In fact, it actually sounds better this run than it did last time I played it. So I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Ooh! Skull, eh? Oh, great. Now the game hates me. Now it's just going to basically fire skulls at me. That's what I want, that is. Right, where is he? Right, that's another one. Yep, game hits me. Demo now. Oh, this call is amazing. If you get skulls when you're in this corridor, you're screwed, basically, you get it. Yep. No way around that. I'm literally getting it to that point. See, this music beer sounds perfect, mind. So skulls will bug it off. But here you've got to do a big jump and a little hop. Didn't do it fast enough. Uh, not at the moment. I expect they'll add it though. Unless this chord is new to CD, I don't know. I'll have, a, I'll have a look once we play this.
Man, this game's not playing by the rules. Actually, there's a skull there, so I gotta wait for him. Two skulls there. Always do a big jump there because you get frogs all over the place. Samurai time. You go down this ladder and then walk to the right and down the next one. Jump. Got him. I'll have a look at this core now once you do it. <laughs> Survived until now. Um, I'm gonna have to get hit because. Yeah, this character is pretty much useless for doing this boss. Fire then. Just got to take it more slow, basically. Good if it does new you, CD. <laughs> I hate this level. It was end up dying there. Yep. So quick that was. These cat women, you can manipulate them by ducking down, and they jump again. Take my time. Ah, they killed me. Ah. Right, okay, does it do. Now, you got load ROM set, so there's nothing about Neo Geo CD, so it probably doesn't do it. This is what the options look like. See, I'm on the alternate uh, profile at the moment. You can change a few things. You can change it to MVS. You can change it to the Unibias for the original one, NTSC. Take a memory card in and out. That type of thing. And then you've also got uh, these options. These are built into the Mister, I think. You can add scan lines. There's various different type filters and stuff you can put on you. You can uh, set your buttons and everything as well, and you can remap the remap uh, for the game. Not quite sure exactly how that works though. Um, any other calls anyone want to see? What we're on yet? So these are all the uh, console calls. I'm not quite sure what that is. Bailey Astrocade. I don't think I've ever played the Bailey Astrocade. Game by Game of Color. Genesis. 
Mega Drive basically. Uh, Magnavox Odyssey. Mass System also does uh, the SG-1000 and um, Game Gear. I haven't actually tried them there, it's cool. Let's do that. So, it does the FCM disk system as well. So palettes, well, you can change the palettes. I mean, I did try that out. So I tell you, first thing you want to do when you get on the core is uh, set your buttons up, set your pad up, which is really nice and easy. We uh, select and start. Ooh, FDS. Oh, that's probably a button to change FDS disks then, is it? Uh, no, you can press, if I remember, if you press, um, uh, yeah, what button is it? I think if you just press um, space bar, it skips a lot of the stuff you don't need. Or if you press enter, it skips, it does it anyway. So, once you've done that, basically, we'll start a NES game up. So I put, um, start a Famicom game up. Put a load of stuff on you. Let's get a... Um, Let's some scat down on the side, shall we? Won't be on it. Scat. Oh, uh, gone past it. Um, why haven't I got scat? Was that a was it called a was it called different or was that an American? Hang on, it. Go F D S to in this. Right, okay. There it is. Right, so you can change the palette colors on you. I haven't messed around with that, so you can have uh, NTSC or PAL. Don't know why you'd want PAL, mine, to be honest, but I'm going to change it back to NTSC. My screen's gone off because it's resyncing. You got this swap and You've got the palettes then. So when you do the palettes, it changes the colors. Your NES Classic, Composite, PC10, PVM, that's quite nice. Wave Beam, Real. It's quite cool they've uh, chucked all these palettes in, yeah? Grayscale. Nintendo, Custom. I think I'm going to go for that palette. That seems quite nice. Uh, so the audio visual options we got then. Aspect ratio, full screen. Yeah, you don't want to be stretching it. That's terrible. We'll put scan lines on. Nice thick scan lines, but we'll go with the 50% ones. You can hide the overscan as well. So you've got those lines on the side of the screen. Edge mask. Ah, I see. Ah, right, so you can mask. Ah, right, okay, that's cool. I think that's the one that masks it. I'll put that to auto. Oh, you can sprite limit. Nice, nice. Internal cart expansion or both. We'll have both. Actually, we should try Castlevania. Actually, load RAM back up. Okay, so once you've done that, you basically just save it. Here we go. It's quite a nice game, this is. You must destroy them. The Earth is counting on you. Good luck. Nice speech. I mean, this is flicking a little bit because of the sprite limit. Pause it and let's put the sprite limit off. Uh, where was it? Audio, video, extra sprites. Let's turn that on and see what that does. Yep, all the flicking's gone. Cool.
I've never actually properly played this game, even though I, I keep wanting to play it. Notice something. So if I go there, can I change? Ah, I thought the core volume was a little bit low. If I go back, I'll save that then. I'll save it with the sprite limit on. That's better. Must have turned it down by accident. Quite cool with the sprite limit uh, taken away. Okay, that would be purist. Well, in some ways I don't like. In some ways I do, I suppose. Uh, I don't mind messing around with the sprite limit. So if there's any calls or computers anyone wants me to uh, boot up and have a look at, let me know. I think the chat is lagging behind mine, so... that weapon. But you can't lock your player in a direction as well. Stay dead? No, didn't think so. A flash is annoying. Takes a fair amount of hits, this boss. Yeah, hopefully they, they'll do a new Juice CD at some point. Like I said, I think the chat is pretty much lagged out, so... Exploding weapon. Interesting. Right, so that's speed. Oh, I... We do be changing our weapon, I think.
Apparently this nest core was worked on a lot. I think there's a lot of um, Americans worked on cores and nest is really popular in the US. Quite a fun game, this does. They could definitely keep his wave, the wave weapons, pretty good. Wasn't this made by um, Natsumi? Sad day. I might actually pack up my um, analog consoles. <laughs> Just to save some room on my desk. Quite far then. Can you get energy back? I wonder which one it is. We fires as well. Game by after this. See how far we go on this. May as well. Never actually seen this far in the game, so see how far I go before I die, and then we'll check the game by. Any in particular game? Anything that tests the game by that uh, might be worth uh, checking out? Batman, maybe the the last one. Can I get that? No. going on there. Okay. You blow them up? No, just move them out of the way. That energy back in. Not quite sure how much energy I had. Oh no, it's a different weapon. Bomb shot or whatever it is. Go back for the wave shot if you're there.
They also got the CPS scores. They're pretty fantastic. It's a lot of bombs then. I think there's about 200 um, arcade games that work on you. That's not encountered in Neo Geo. That's counted as a home machine. Well, I've gained energy packs. Not quite sure how. Oh, that's cool. This is definitely not as powerful though. Looks like I did then. Long level this one. There's um, a DS core coming out soon as well, apparently. I think I'll keep this weapon. Okay, we're slowing down. Oh, oh, I got it. Oh, ah, oh, gives you energy back. I'm worried about those you. Playing on the uh, the Mister, first time streaming it, so just trying out some cores. We're going to try a bit of game bio next. I'm gonna have to watch some new replays on your channel as well. I haven't got around to doing that yet. Five very fast, but it's uh, nice and powerful. Hello, city. Ooh. Our pattern stays the same. Flame warship ends it. Was it not too me who made this game? Oh, yes, it's speed, isn't it? Actually, it's quite nice. Only problem with this fire, and it's powerful, but fortunately, it doesn't fire that fast. Oh, 
got it a few times. Battleship. me. Oh, I tried to go up to shoot it. Game boy, it is it. So, let's have a look. Cool. Game boy, game boy, Keller. What should we try out? My screen comes back on. Oh, because I go for my capture card. Uh, right then. So we need a load of ROM. What should we load? Should we try that Batman, the last one? Um, it's not that one, is it? Animate. If we turn the Joker, we get the game by sound. We do. What options we got then? Let's have a look with Game Boy options. Super Game Boy on and off. Ooh, hang on. Game and off. Ah, right, okay. So if you put the Super Game Boy on, the, on then you shrink a screen. So Auto System, Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Okay. Inverted Colors. Okay. Custom Palette. Ooh, that's cool. Let's have auto custom parts like that. Um, right, so what you want to first do is do your buttons. So right, left, down, up, A, B. Uh, we'll have select, we'll have start. We'll have fast forward can go there. Ooh, it does save state. Interesting. Save state, load state. That is interesting. Hang on, let me cancel that a minute. We start from the so right, left. Down, up, A. So can do save states then. Very interesting. Um, I'm not going to do fast forward actually. I don't want that. So we'll have that as, uh, we'll have that as save state. We'll have that as load state. I'm not going to do rewind. That is cool. So we've got gamma correction. Ah, right. So that's a palette in there. LCD effect. Integer scale. Nice. We'll save that. Um, do we have any other options? Save state, halt, and F1. Restore state, F1. So it can do save states. Interesting. Uh, sound buffer. Okay, frame mix. Stereo mix. Should check out 100%, shall we? Right, okay. Let's see what it, see what it sounds like. I think the 100% mode gives a slight bit more bass. Right. Let's check the safe state out and see how they work. See if it is as simple as just pressing a button. Well, I'm going to save state it for there. I'm gonna load state. Ah, <laughs> yeah, cool. Right, I'm just gonna try something a minute. The stereo mix. Yeah. Ah, if you put stereo mix to 100%, it changes it to mono. That's weird. Turn it off. I can hear the music going back and forth on the headset. Interesting. Uh, 
Oh, it's this game in here with this bloody grappling crap. Can I get past there? How the hell do you do this crap and thing? Right, so it's not a button to grapple. Get on DC. Then failing. Don't jump very high off that. Ah. This is weird, you push the diagonal, he does the uh, gravel. Oh, hang on. I can just do that, right, okay, that's easier. A grapple is a bit of a pain in the ass. That back works perfect, doesn't it? Oh, come on. Well, you don't have to push the direction, you automatically does it himself. It plays a bit weird, that game does. Let's try something else. Again, let's just try and do the first level. One button. Actually, I could do the buttons that way. Oh. Well. Actually, I might change the buttons. Hang on. I do right, left, down, up. Uh, A, B, select, start. I'm skipping fast forward because I don't want it. Um, save state, load state, rewind. Okay. I got them the wrong way around. Start. We say load state. Okay, we're sorted. Battle guy sound every new there. Okay. Yeah, let's try that out then. I'm new to that one. Oh IGS. So that's what that IGS stands for. 
Have I played this before? May have. No, oh, then again, may not have. We got two levels of play, though. Interesting. I crash if I go there. Oh no, you're right, he jumps up. Any good this one? This look normal or change a palette to a, like a, a blue palette as well, wouldn't it? One sec, let me just turn my uh, TV down a minute. Turn that up a little bit. Just got the levels right on there a minute. <laughs> Much change of palette per game, there must be like a set or something. Got some interesting music. Yeah, that's a filter. There's loads of filters you can put on stuff as well. Looks quite nice as well, doesn't it? It looks a little bit like the one on the, um, the PS Classic, doesn't it? That's pretty nice as well. You can turn that filter off as well if you don't want it. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit weird gameplay on it, isn't it? It's supposed to be good, like, when you get into it. I do like a Game Boy. That's a really good game as a Game Boy. For what it was, developers did some fantastic work on it. I have to admit. I've never seen this game before. Has it actually got um, this game levels or does it just keep going? Oh, hang on. Well, as I say, that changes uh, boss time. But I bet I'm in the bottom row at the moment, do I? Oh, okay. Yeah, I never heard of it. It's a new one. Cool. Cheers. Arrows. 
this India, Indian world. I lost the power up. No! I look like I'm going to Nefe. No. You hit that if you go into it. No, okay. We're good. Freeway shop. Seems an interesting little game. You crash into it. No. Yeah, if you don't want that. One ship looks like a D-pad. Get attacked by Nintendo D-pad. Guess that's full power. Now I need to fly up. Oh damn, I'm still on the floor. Anything else you want me to try? What about, uh, I'm trying to think of something that's quite impressive on the, on the Game Boy. Um, I have to play that again. Yeah, we had that earlier. That's got some nice effects, hasn't it? The playability's a little bit weird on it, isn't it? Tailgater. Hang on. I tell you, it seems weird, mate. We'll try and get past first level and we'll go Tailgater. Um, don't think I've heard that either. It's got good animation on it. Tailgater. Grapple hook is a little bit weird, but music's pretty nice as well. I'm gonna wait here. Oh, it's you anyway. Man. Yeah, it does look great. Right, let's try that tailgater. Um, right. Okay, don't know what this is either. Oh, 
Ooh, not to me. Nice. <laughs> okay. It's got jolly music. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. You jump down now. You get killed by them? Oh, you pick them up. Right, what have you got to do? Yeah, there's a lot of good Game Boy games. Have you heard this one? I gotta go to the next screen or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this looks pretty cool. Music's looks good. Ah, right, you gotta find the key to get to the, uh, open the door. Ooh, you get. Good old Natsuki. Yeah, they are. The filter is really nice. I guess this is, this is quite good fun. Video games are just not good. I gotta get the bird, maybe? Okay, how do I get out of this level? Something to do with the bird. It's 
got to have a name. You've got to hit it again. How do I get out here? Yeah. Alright, oh, it's open anyway. It's a little li ledge. Jolly. I went all along. Yeah, it is. It's good. You're right. Nice one. It's quite a cool little game. The music's like super jolly as well. Right? Should they? Oh. 
probably in that other chest, isn't it? Yeah. That problem is getting more tricky. Say any other calls before I go? It's time to get on, so. I'll save this state and come back and come back to it. But I'm gonna fight this boss. Tales 2. Hello! On which call? On here or on the NES? Oh, this is quite a fun little game. Alright. Let me just go to the next level and then I'll save the Oh, I'm underwater now. Right, okay. Alright mate, how's it going? Uh DuckTales you said there. Eh? Everything seems to work perfect, so Game Boy Advance I haven't actually tried yet. I'm fairly sure I put some Game Boy Advance ROMs on you. <laughs> I used to love the cartoon with this, it was class. Do I die? Yeah, okay, that was a bad move, wasn't it? Oh, that seems to run rather nice. <laughs> yeah, the Super Game Boy is good, isn't it? Super Game Boy 2 is even better. It's uh, Japanese only, that is, but uh, yeah, it's quite nice, the Super Game Boy.
Just trying to miss it up, yeah? Can't break them a little bit. Right, see, time's getting on. I can't stay up too late because I've got to go for work in the morning, so... Let's try, um... Have I got any colour game by ROMs on you? Can't remember if I put any on you. Might not have. Which was a mistake, wasn't it? Why didn't they put the colour game on ROMs on you? Stupid. I need to sort that out. No, I can't see any. I'll have to sort that out. Very well then. Um, let's try the Game Boy Advance. Right, so what I want to do is then, I want to find my buttons right, left, down, up, A, B, uh, left, right, select, start. I don't want fast forward. Don't want that. Nope. Did the button's wrong as well. I always forget when Nintendo A and B are the other way round, don't they? Um, it's a little bit annoying that's flicking, but that should disappear in a minute. Right, okay. So, let's load a ROM. What should we load? Oh, yeah, sorry, we did play this, didn't we? I was playing Alt the Beast. Actually, no, I was playing Alt the Beast on the. Um, PlayStation, wasn't I? Castlevania, something I can get into straight away. Um, oh, I'll tell you what. F0, that might be an interesting one to try out. Try that. They take a little while to load, do they? Hey. So we've got that screen over. Do we need that on the Game Boy? Oh, I don't know about that. That doesn't look. That doesn't look good at all. Okay, so let's take that screen filter off. Let's have a look what options we got. Hardware, turbo off, homebrew. Okay, cleanliness. Storage auto off. Oops. Now yeah, my screen's clicked off again. Right, okay. Video options. Aspect ratio original, large. Alright, that's scan lines. Ooh, they look pretty cool. So you got a nice smooth filter, high res smooth filter. Three, two, ready. That's not bad scan lines. Right, okay. Two times resolution. Ah, right, you can change the resolution background. Ah, that's cool. That's a new feature, apparently. Oh, that, has, that does actually change that background. Interesting. Oh, so you can have two times resolution for sprites and background. Nice. Let's go with that. Sprite limit. Should we turn it off? Think code will be doing off. That's cool. So if I save, if I save that. Your save state on you as well. No, this is on the um, Mister FPGA. I bought one in the week. Actually, that looks really nice with the um, two times uh, two times background resolution, which is a brand new feature apparently. It's the same thing, basically. It's an FPGA console, but it's a community-based one. I've been eyeing one up for ages. Select your mode. Choose your difficulty. Novice, select your cup. Bronze. Bronze. Choose your vehicle. Choose your vehicle. Michael Pico. 
Oh, Captain Falcon. It's gotta be Captain Falcon. Actually, that actually looks really nice with the two times resolution. Three, two, ready, fire. That's cool. That's cool. Hang on. So if I pause it and uh, change it back. So if we take that resolution boost off. <laughs> Look at the difference. That's mad. So that's it off. You can see it on the side. Background. Sprites. Or both. Oh, that makes a huge difference. Never actually got round to playing this version of this game on the game on the GBA. Four laps to go. You've got a new booster. Hang on, just want to check something. So I got an habit of accidentally turning down. Okay, we're good. Do boost power on this one. Three laps to go. Ah, oh, two buttons together. Right, okay, got it. Hold him in. Two laps to go. Yeah, that does look rather nice. Tell you what, I'm going to try Mario Kart. If I put it on yet. Yeah, I did. Probably get my channel banned now for playing Mario Kart in here, but... I used to have this on the uh, Game Gear, I loved it. A two times resolution does make a difference. I mean, I think that's been implemented into the SNES core as well. That's pretty nice. Let's go back. Let's have uh, most time. Quarter two. Try one more core. Try something I've never tried before. Uh, I don't even know what that is. All right. Okay, it's that. I have played it. This is it's a pong. The pong core. Funny as that sounds. Bailey Astrocade. I've never ever played one of these. I don't think I've ever seen one either. Calculator. Can we play calculator? Let's play gunfight. Let's press number one. Enter max score. Okay, 100. 
this is this like a pong console actually i need to do my buttons oh okay skip all the numbers because i got a keyboard uh, okay don't know what that is press c c e plus minus jesus this finisher huh? this is awesome got my ass kicked What am I controlling? Right, that one. How the hell do I bend my gun up? Okay, we give up an hour then. Rather silly. Um, Google Vision is pretty wicked. Magnavox, my system. What else we got? I haven't tried the Vectrex on you yet. I like the Vectrex. It works because it's on the Vectrex. I think in emulation, it just loses its charm, unfortunately. I wonder what video option to go on this. I wonder if you can have like high resolution alpha overlays. Color overlays, always white, always on. Okay, what else you got? Overburn? Actually, I think that looks better with that off. Alright, so you can change the colour. Doesn't quite work, does it, on emulation? Ah, so you can turn the phosphorus level off. So it's trying to it's trying to make it look like a Vectrex. Okay. Is this the first Mindstorm though? Because um, pretty much... This has got a bug in it, and level 12 I think it is. You can't actually complete it. I like the Vectrex. It does have some rather interesting games on it. Too bad, is it? Um, what else can we do to it? Let's we'll save that. Is this? Let's try something that's got a little bit more. Ah, so you can do the overlays as well. That's cool. Ultras and Nazite, I think that was, is that the, this is quite good. It's quite tricky this game is. You can bounce your bullets off the walls and stuff. Actually, that, that's not too bad actually. <laughs> For simulating a Vectrex, that's doing not too bad a job. Vectress has got some really good effects as well for what for when it came out and what it was. It's an impressive little machine. I've still got to fix mine. I am just never I just never got around to fix it. I took it apart and never got around to putting it back together. I gotta to recap it I have. There is a racing game that looks rather impressive. Hyper chaser, I guess. This looks stupidly impressive actually on the machine. Oh, I forgot. It's got stupidly fast controls. Okay.
Oops. Yep, this controls it. The Vectrex is actually analog. Yeah, that doesn't work without the analog. Ah, they put Mind Stone 2 on you. Ah, interesting. Yeah, the original ones, they give people an extra um, cartridge. Because it, it got, I think it's like level 12. The game just can't get past it, there's a bug in it. It's got loads of speech on this spike. Spike. Star Wars. Uh, it's got some impressive speech in this game. <laughs> uh. Level one. <laughs> Oops. Darn it. One jump. We should have the original of this as well. I wonder if Steve's still got this Daz, or he's swapped it for some sweets or something. Molly's not having a good time. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Got the button set up a little bit weird. Got four buttons here in the back tracks. It does actually use all four of them. What did you do? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's quite cool. I quite, I quite like Spike. It's not a bad little game. I think the Vectrex works. And it's quite impressive for when you actually play it on the actual Vectrex itself. I guess it's not doing a bad job of emulating it, to be truthfully honest. But it actually looks alright. But um, playing it on the actual machine is the way to go with Vectrex. If you could, if you could get a vector monitor and hook this up to a vector monitor. I wonder what that would look like. I wonder if that's even possible. Right, so we're nearly 12. I'm going to shoot off at 12, so I'm going to... We'll have a look at one more core. Let's we'll see if there's anything else on here I haven't actually tried. The PC Engine core is really good. And the Mega CD one is as well. Mass system is brilliant. Sneaker Vision. Uh, tell you what. Let's do an arcade core. Is causing it by various. I show the Capcom core, um, core actually. Let's finish off with a bit of uh, final fight. I need to do my uh, buttons. Um, we're going to have a coin there, a pause there. Mm. 
might make those scan lines a little bit less. Right, okay, cool. See you It's a good game, Final Fight. There's a CPS 2 call coming uh, this year as well. It probably won't be too long either. Give it a month or two, it'll probably be out. Yeah. yeah, game of color games are good. I need to put some of them on you. into a bit of trouble, isn't it? Give <laughs> a joystick on this, I reckon. Anyway guys, it's almost 12 o'clock. Uh, that's the Mister. Pretty awesome piece of kit, I've got to admit. Except um, when you when it comes to the computers, you do have to know a little bit about the computers. But generally, it's, it is quite easy to play the games once you know what you're doing. Oh, that handle. Right, time for me to go. I think. Yeah, the Mister seems a pretty awesome piece of kit, I've got to admit. And I think it does use the same FPGA core as the analog consoles. So essentially, I don't think there's any reason the analog consoles couldn't actually do all the rest of the cores. Because, it, because the Mega Drive one could do multiple cores, can't they? Same as the, um, the, NT, the NT cam as well. So. There shouldn't be any reason why it can't. I think the old NT uses a, a slightly smaller FPGA. But anyway, guys, 
I've had a good week. I better shoot because I've got to go to work in the morning. I'm really knackered otherwise. And um, yeah, probably see you next weekend. Play some more on the uh, Mister. Play some more games. So I shall see you then. Bye bye.